Hi guys, my name is Michael and this is channel not just for the PS Vita fans, welcome! Another week, another updates and another releases. And in this video I'm covering all the latest happenings in the PS Vita scene. First I'm looking at new titles and later I'm checking out all the bits and bobs in between. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. Let's begin with the smaller release called Rock Wrecker, developed by Samian PC, thanks to him. It is a clone of the popular game Asteroids, created in GameMaker Studio as a hobby project. So if you are a fan of uh, this classic old school arcade multi-directional shooter made by Atari, you surely need to check out the Rock Wrecker. File size is about 12 MB and it is available for free from all the major databases. The following big release is called Yet Another Unearthed Vita version 0.9, which is a clone of Uncharted series, ported by Mr. Divdis. Big up to him. Originally, the game is called Unearthed Trail of Ibn Battuta. This is a combined port of PS3, PC, and Android versions of the game. This port is initial beta release, it is still in early stages of development and got a bunch of problems. You can complete a single player campaign and save exit, but the dev needs to gather debug information via Vita community, that means via us, so in case you are interested in this Uncharted clone, you want to try it out and you have at least 1.4GB space on your memory card, go install it and share your findings with the dev. You can find the link down below. There is a lot of work to do before this game port can be marked as done. I've spent around half an hour playing it and I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty rough. The textures are popping out everywhere, with big gaps in between. I couldn't kill the enemies with my gun as it seems there is something wrong with the hit detection. However, I've been able to smother them just fine with melee attack. I've been also able to progress behind the first cutscene and get into the temple, which is pretty big accomplishment for what it is. And I have to say, in spite of all the crudeness and imperfections, I'm excited uh, that somebody had decided to take on bigger challenge like this one. The Steam reviews of the original game are truly exceptional, for example like, this is the worst game I've ever played and I highly recommend it. It's up there with Right to Hell Retribution in terms of hilarious incompetence and misery. It's one of those unique experiences that are so bad that you just have to see it for yourself to believe it. Well, I don't think anybody in here is pretending this is your ultimate Uncharted fix. And even though this game is not a top-notch experience, I still reckon once it is marked as done, it is gonna be a valuable addition into the PS Vita ports library. The third-person genre is not really prevalent in here, and I absolutely agree we need more of such games to be ported, even if it is not a AAA title with all the bells and whistles. It is still worth the effort, so thanks to the developer for keeping at it, and I'm looking forward to any new updates. Now let's move on to the updates, the biggest one being Augustus version 3.0.1, developed by DevNone Name 120, Julius Team and Kiryu. It is a fork of the Julius project that intends to provide enhanced customizable gameplay to Cesar 3 using Project Julius UI enhancements. 
Augustus is able to load Caesar free and Julius saves, but not vice versa. Gameplay enhancements include roadblocks, market special order, increased game limits, zoom controls and many many more. For full changelog please check the link down below, there is detailed description of every little change. To install the game again you need to follow the guide or download the complete package. Either way I'm a big fan of Augustus. I switched it on and I couldn't stop playing it on my Vita, even though the controls are a bit clunky and the lack of mouse is noticeable. The port is still solid and I'm glad it still receives updates and the devs keep working on it. It is greatly appreciated. Following port that has been updated to the version 2.0.d is Sonic 2 SMS Remake by M-K and Creative Araya. The graphics have been fixed, no more glitchy lines, added air jump animation, new 16-bit music mode, new sector zone, hidden cave, and Vector can now breathe underwater. If you wanna perform the update, just get the new VPK, install it and job done. Ok, now to the utilities. Better Homebrew Browser by M. Ibrahim has been updated to the version 0.5b, with even more bugs, leaks and crashes fixed. CBPS database icons are now fixed, which I can confirm as I didn't have them before, but now they showing up nice and clear. So if you haven't updated it yet, go and do it now, it is available thanks to the hardworking developer. Thumbs up! There has been also new stylish utility dropped called Retroflow Launcher by Jimbob4000 and VitaHex, thanks to them. It is a modded version of Hexflow Launcher, a 3D coverflow like launcher for PS Vita. This version includes categories for retro games which can be launched without bubbles for RetroArch or Daedalus X64. PlayStation 1 and PSP games can also be launched without having to create bubbles for every single game. It features a 3D user interface to display your games with box art and supports many customization options like custom covers and backgrounds. Clearly there are some steps to perform that you can find on its release page down below to make it work, so if you wanna display and launch your retro games and homebrews in style, surely give it a try. Second new utility I wanna talk about is Crystal Archiver, developed by Ellie Crystal. It is a one-click mass archiver for PlayStation Mobile licenses that doesn't require launching each PlayStation Mobile game. This project was created for the PlayStation Mobile Yaruz project, which aims to save not only PlayStation Mobile history, but Sony and indie developer history as well. Well done, we all here want to preserve as much history as Sony doesn't want to. Last but certainly not least, I want to cover the new remastered cheat device for Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories by Lord Freakler, thanks to him. It is a complete remake of the original cheat devices from 2005-06. It works both with Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories and is now available for PSP and PS Vita. The developer recreated the whole project from the ground up after over 15 years since the original devices were released. If you wanna find out more or if you wanna try it out, there is a link that you can click on down below. There has been some solid updates and releases this week. Which one do you like the most guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. We are coming to the part of the video where I tell you if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and share it with other PS Vita enthusiasts, it means a lot to me and to the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to check out our Discord server and follow me on social media, you can now also support the channel, all the links are down below.
Sub to the channel means you most likely won't miss upcoming content. There is at least one video coming out every week. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. So, this is Amos' temple. Yep, that's the one. 3,560 years of history in this place. You have to be careful and watch your steps in there. My steps? You mean you're not coming in with me? Of course not, Faris. For starters, you were the one who always enjoyed raiding tombs and uncharting mysteries in video games. Now you get to do it yourself. Besides, we need someone on the outside to go call for help in case something happens to you. <laughs> oh, okay. So you were telling me that actual consideration for my well-being went into planning this thing.